then there is another interesting filter called the radial filter over here for that I would like to use a different image so I can always go to a next image by pressing the arrow key so the right arrow key takes me to the next image so let me see yeah suppose this is what you are working on right this is the photo you are working on and you know that this is the this is where most of the light is concentrated and this is the prominent area and the rest of the things are all dark suppose I wanted to darken or I wanted to work specifically on a particular area like this just the face of this um, statue I have to pick up this one this is the radial filter just press on that you will see so many different sliders to work with we'll work on these ones these are all the same fill, uh, same sliders which we get on the basic panel if you double click on the effect every effect will go and it all become zero now let's say I want to darken the background even more compared to what it is already so I just dial the exposure on the negative side just a bit like that then press on the object here I just clicked on that and then you know I'm just dragging it click and drag it and that's taking a oval shape or any shape you want to take in but if you want a round shape then hold the shift that becomes round you know if you hold the shift it will maintain the aspect ratio and keep it as round so leave it here so what happened just now you might have not recognized but if I just darken it more you will recognize it now that before it was like this with good enough details in the background after the radial filter it looks like this you know what happened is just the center just the face is what is untouched and all the effects which I did which only the exposure is what, what I changed it all got applied here it works very similar to the graduated neutral density filter but there it is a single horizontal line and it was going down gradually here it's a radial format and gradually it will get applied so at the end you have the highest exposure and then gradually it is decreasing and with in the middle all there is almost nothing so you can always once you have done the radial filter like this you can always take it wherever you want it works like a spotlight right just drag hold it and drag it like this or if you want to change it you can always click on one of these and then change it the way you want if you want to keep it around you can always use the shift you see now I have made the entire face to keep the original value as it is and then the rest of the things have gone darker so just with one specific operation I have changed the file from this where even the background is getting a prominence to this where the background is almost you know getting darker so that the face can be really bright so that's the power of radial filter and it is usually good to use with the portraits where you want to specifically highlight some part of the region and then keep everything else darker it can also be used as a vignetting filter which we are going to discuss about in the later stages so what if you want to reverse this operation right you want to put more of the exposure on the face but don't put the exposure on the background if you were to reverse this operation you can always do it in the same brush or say we take a new brush for instance so let's say new here so click on the new you will get a new brush and the old brush is here you see there is a pin and that's the old brush which you have applied now you have taken a new brush and double click on the effects whenever you pick up a new one double click on the effects so that everything becomes zero then now that we wanted to actually brighten the face you go with the positive exposure say 0.31 then do the same thing just use the shift key and make it as a circle but what I have to do now is I have to put the entire emphasis onto the face which means I have to reverse or I have to inverse the mask or the filter so to do that you have to come here and on the panel you see that there is invert here on the bottom click on the invert if you click on the invert 
the just just the filter got reversed you know whatever the changes you are doing it does work on the face not on the background it's just the reverse operation of what we did so this is too much i was just trying to show you so suppose you can actually do it like this it can take up to that exposure maybe less not too much yeah maybe 0.66 you see this was before this is after so i changed the whole game and say done so that's what is done now and if i press before after you see it just completely changed so the post processing is too powerful so you have to really use it with care you shouldn't push the boundaries too much and sometimes just one or two clicks you are you are done with what you wanted as a end result to come to this level to understand what you need to do how what tools you need to use you have to be in control and you need to know what you are expecting as an output which you are going to discuss about so know that there are tools know that there are powerful tools but use it with care because the powerful tools can totally ruin the picture and your post process picture will just show off saying that this is post process it will call and say oh my photo is post process that's something which normally happens in the beginning until you get used to the tool and until you get complete control over the tool it's all about control it's all about how you are going to use which tool you are going to use for a particular purpose so that's how we are going to work upon and that's for the radial filter so we'll work on the brush tool a little later because that's a adjustment tool which is targeted adjustment for you to understand how the targeted adjustment works you have to actually understand how the global adjustment works first so let's work on the global adjustments first